A terrible tragedy struck the small town of Albion yesterday. Fire destroyed a mobile home, and it also took the life of a wife and mother. News Channel 15's Adam Widener has been covering the story since yesterday, and you say this has deeply affected that community. Yeah, it sure has, which is why in light of the tragedy, folks are rallying together. It's a sign of empathy toward one of the worst tragedies to hit the small town in recent memory. seen something like this in 40 some years. When you think of tragedy, what comes to mind? For folks in the small town of Albion, how can we help? Around five Monday morning, the Murphy family's mobile home erupted in flames. The husband escaped along with their two children, but 40 year old Jennifer Murphy was trapped inside and didn't make it out. Among the ashes, singed photos marked the memories that once were. They lost everything. The most precious thing they lost was a mother and a wife. Amidst the tragedy, a story of heroism. After kicking the air conditioner out of the other side of the home, a 13-year-old boy ran around, ripped the air conditioner out of this side of the mobile home to save the life of his 11-year-old sister with cerebral palsy. But up from the ashes rises extraordinary acts of empathy. At least six different organizations and companies are working together to meet a need collecting supplies to donate to the family who didn't have insurance. I gathered up a lot of food uh, as well as the not just the um, non-perishable product but meat and uh, uh, fresh produce that we had. An anonymous donor has even taken care of the funeral expenses, bringing from the ashes a message of provision. When there's a need we find a way to help and the community goes along with us. From a loving community led by faith. God, God makes you do it. It's what you do for people. Now, I just got off the phone with the husband's father. He wants to thank the community for their generosity and more than anything else, requests prayers for the family during this tough time. You can click on the story on Wayne.com for ways to help.